Hey guys, it's Lightning Flash here, and today I'm going to show you my fixer upper car. So let's get right into it. I want to just get this out here. The reason I do not have a job yet at 19 is because I have no transportation and I do not have a license. Biggest reason I don't have a license yet is because I have nothing to drive and I don't live in town, so it's not easy to get a job when you don't live close to town. So once this car is fixed, I will be getting a job as soon as possible. I'm not lazy. I really do want to work. It's just I can't work when I don't have a car. So that's the problem. That's my hold up. And also go watch my dyslexia video. That's another thing that's kind of hard when you're trying to get a job and wondering if they're gonna, if they're gonna hire you because of your disability. So let's get into my car. My car that needs a lot of work. All right, so this is my fixer upper car. This is a 2005 Chevy Impala. My mom got this car for about 600 bucks. She drove it for about a year until she got that um, Toyota Camry over there. It worked pretty good. She had one, she had a few repairs on it. She probably put $1,000 into it, but she drove it for a year. So she got her money's worth out of it. And then she gave it to me and it's been setting for over a year, probably what, two years now. And it needs a lot of work. This was a former police car. So this thing has an intercepted chip. This is probably the fast, one of the fastest cars I've ever seen. Every time I did get to drive it, it just has a need for speed. You barely have to touch the pedal and it flies. One time my dad was backing it off a trailer and it flew off the trailer. That's how, how much oomph there is in it. All right, so let's go over what's wrong with it. First off, it will not start, which is a fairly new problem. We got it here to this area, this place, and it would not start again. So I figure it's an electrical problem. We had an electrical problem before in there with the ignition and stuff, and it cost about $800 to fix it. I think it was about $800 to fix it, something like that. And it was an electrical problem. I'm pretty sure this is an electrical problem too, but you never know. It's going to need to be scanned. That's problem number one. Problem number two, it needs a full brake job the whole way around. Sorry if there's garbage under it, I because I've been working under it and yeah, rags get under there. It needs a full, a full-fledged brake brake break job. Like all everything needs replaced, and it needs a, an emergency brake too. The worst problem with this car is not the fact it needs a brake job or it won't start. The worst part is the fact that it has cancer. As you can see right here, you see half the car laying under here. Um, I can't even tell you guys how much rust I have pulled out from under this car. And sorry, I have stuff here, garbage from when I was painting and stuff that needs cleaned up. But I can't tell you guys how much rust and crap I pulled out of this car. The rocker panels are completely gone, which I will show you now. Um, but after some work i have it painted and primed i grinded it down and got it ready to be um ready to be patched up to seal ready to be sealed up as you can see these rockers are gone the whole way down and i got it painted as much as i could there's some holes that had to be fixed under here for inspection but the biggest problem i'd say with this car is the fact that it's a rust bucket and yes once again i'll pick that garbage up now we're just gonna have to come here with a piece of metal come down come over and cover this hole up right here this is solid all right but obviously this just fell out this thing had probably three sets four sets of rocker panels on it that i had to pull pieces off of my biggest worry with this car is when it comes to rust is this bumper right here this bumper is yeah it's kind of rotten uh i hope it passes inspection i don't know if they're gonna be beating on the bumper but you can kind of crumble some of the bumper with your hand and I painted over it in there a little bit, but the bumper is pretty rotten. Maybe not this path, but the other piece down here is. So I'm hoping it'll pass inspection. So this 2005 Chevy Impala right here needs an oil change and a transmission fluid change. Um, the transmission fluid worries me because I don't know how much it was changed, but it's not um, brown. It's pinkish brown. So that means it can still be changed, hopefully, without making the transmission slip. This car has 130,000 miles on it. Usually the transmissions in these go at about 160,000. If I get 30,000 miles out of this car, I'm gonna be happy because I don't plan on going many places except from the homestead to town. It's not gonna to be too much, about 16 miles a day. So it won't, it won't rack up mileage too fast. But if this thing lasts me two years, I would be, I'll be happy once it's fixed. When you go to start it, it turns or it tries to start but it won't start it starts to but that's it so i figure it's an electric problem it didn't seem to be the fuel pump and it didn't seem to be it's not definitely not the starter so uh even tried spraying stuff to get it to start and it, it didn't work so it's most likely electrical 
So hopefully it's not too expensive. You may ask why I mess with a car with that much wrong with it. Well, I have no way to get money to get another car, so that has to be fixed, and that would be cheaper than getting another car. Um, unless you wanna want me to start a GoFundMe to get me a car, then I, I'm just gonna fix that thing. <laughs> so it should get done. Hopefully we don't have too many problems with it. Hopefully the problem why it won't start is pretty simple. I think it will be, but I'm not sure. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it electrified. I'll see you guys later. God bless.